learners welcome to this session today we will be discussing the issues of trafficked labors so you have been told that person who has been trafficked for labor or cheap labor or hazardous labor is a person who has been trafficked and who was very vulnerable to make a reason choice and give his or her consent so we will discuss the issues in detail the issue of existence in record this is very important you know even the labor laws do not take care of so many kinds of people who are working in unorganized sectors so if i talk about the contractual labors if i talk about people you know who are on the streets working every day to earn their livelihood and then going back to their homes people who are working as domestic help people who are working for the placement agencies even people who are working on contractual jobs do not find place in the employment record of the country of india so how will you address the vulnerability of a person if it is not in the record so if you have my records then only you will understand my issues my concerns and address my issues and concerns but suppose if i come from an unorganized sector or you know i am never there in your records how will you address my issues so existence is a big challenge for people who have been trafficked for labor who do not go by valid visa or passport who are never shown in any state records as people who are working who do not get their remunerations paid if they get payments whatever payments are made in cash or kind so they don't have records to share in future by the authorities to prove that they are the people who are employed and who are working right to life is you know a big challenge for these people because many a times you know their existence is in danger people who are working in hazardous employment without safety equipments mask gloves in chemical factories small small children who are working in chemical factories should not work because they should not be employed for a child to be employed in hazardous occupation is a crime and his or her human rights violation constitutional rights violation because the child should study right to education act and article 21a which talks about free and compulsory education for the children below the age of 14 years so do they have this right unemployment is a big issue you know when you are in unemployed then even if you are low paid you don't say no so person who is trafficked and you know forced to work in low paid jobs or you know who has been trafficked by somebody who is controlling his parents never talks about his or her employment conditions his or her wages his or her well being because 
he thinks that his life is under debt. So whatever he will do, he will try to just reduce the debt amount which is due on him or his family members. Safety issues are also there in cases of people who have been trafficked for labor. If you see small, small children, you know, working in dhabas, factories, carpet industries, bangle making industries, chemical industries, then you find that lot of safety issues are also involved. Safety issues includes, you know, the safety of the person. So if the person is abused, if the person is tortured, if the person is not getting proper meal, a balanced diet, a nutritious diet, then labor trafficking becomes a big challenge for that person. Then there are sustainability issues, you know. Sustainability issues are issues which are very relevant in cases of labor trafficking. You don't know your plight. You don't know what kind of labor you will be required to do the next day. You don't know your working conditions. You don't know the number of hours you will be told to work without breaks. So we have Minimum Wages Act, we have Factories Act, we have legislation which talks about maximum time for a person to work, 8 hours. But this is exploited by the traffickers so sustainability is a big challenge for people who have been trafficked for labor. Availability of infrastructure is another problem. A labor will never get the best of infrastructure. Do you find health services, proper sanitization, sanitation, proper, you know, meals, proper safety issues resolved in jhuggies and jhopris or in clusters where these people stay. So infrastructure is there for all, irrespective of you coming from whatever background the infrastructure should be used by all, but in reality, the infrastructure is never available to these people. In terms of medical aid, there are never opportunities to provide people who have been trafficked for labor because if they reach hospital, they may speak up about the atrocities. So, the trafficker just gives them medicines or drugs just to avoid that pain and trauma. What kind of infrastructure facility we are providing to laborers who are staying in clusters, who are staying in dingy room? 50 people staying at one place without proper sanitation, without proper toilets, without proper food, without proper medicinal needs, without proper psychological and physical needs being fulfilled and then being trafficked by the traffickers. Natural resources are also not available to these people who are laborers because 
they never come out of that factory they never come out of that setup ventilation is a big challenge for labor trafficking because proper ventilation never reaches these dingy or you know hazardous places you won't find windows you won't find proper ventilated rooms for these people and they work for 18 to 20 hours in the same environment so a lot of lungs diseases are common with people who have been trafficked for labor health facilities which i just discussed why will a trafficker take you to hospital a trafficker will try to save himself so in cases of labor trafficking where atrocities are done a doctor will be able to understand that something wrong is there or something wrong is happening with that person in cases of sexual abuse of laborers so health facility is never given to labor trafficking people and they suffer from diseases like hiv aids and other sexual transmitted diseases they suffer from asthma and other you know lungs related diseases and they are never been able to contact with the health infrastructure of that state because they never get free availability of public distribution system for traffic labor is also negative the pds system of the country does not reaches to the person who has been trafficked for labor because he is in captivity availability of job cards availability of shelters shelter is a place which is a safe place for you and not a place of further exploitation so in cases of trafficking for labor they do not get safe shelters neither they have their roles and responsibilities written on the job card neither they carry their job cards in cases of child trafficking for labor you will never find a child saying also that he is a child so the real age of the child is also hidden by the trafficker in front of commoner availability of food for children is a big issue so children who are trafficked for labor do not get their meals properly they do not get breaks they are forced to work 18 hours a day with just sustenance food i know this much will be over or this much will be enough to sustain the child so i give him this much of food only because i am saving my money costing costing in terms of the future of the nation child who is the future of the nation is never given proper nutritious balanced diet and we find people dying out of malnutrition at a very small age because people who have been trafficked for labor so labor is the purpose and not the welfare of that child not to meet the physical and mental needs of that child so here in cases of trafficking meal is a big challenge for a labor trafficked wages how will you decide a wage for a person who has been trafficked somebody is selling that person somebody is purchasing that person so no wages 
for that person who has been trafficked. He is your slave. He will work for you. He will do whatever to please you. And he will work as per your mandates and your conditions. No work, no pay. In another sense, we have minimum wages and in cases of trafficking, we have lots of work with no pay. So, this is a big challenge that you get everything done from that labor without paying him enough for his survival because you treat that person as a commodity which you have purchased from the trafficker. So here you are not a customer but you are a trafficker because you are violating the human rights and the legal rights of a person who has been trafficked for labor and you know whatever form of slavery you think about it is abolished in India. Then a person who has been trafficked for labor always lives an uncertain life with so much of fears of survival. Next day, I don't know what kind of work I will be forced to do. Next day, I don't know what kind of trauma I will face at my workplace. Small, small children, you know, in tobacco industries, inhale are passive smokers at the age of six and seven. So, trafficking for labor is an offense in India, but it is very difficult to bring a child out of that industry because we do not have the laws implemented strictly by the stakeholders at all level. So if the laws are implemented strictly, then the child who is, you know, constantly a passive smoker or a passive inhaler will not inhale so much of tobacco, so much of dust, so much of, you know, chemicals, so much of abuses by different people. Neither he will be sexually abused neither he will nor nor he will be you know traumatized every second so people who are in labor trafficking live a life of fear and uncertainty you never know whether you will be able to come out of that room or not so a male and a female who is involved in labor trafficking never knows the plight of his or her survival and his or her coming out in open air. Breaking the captivity is very difficult for a trafficked person and especially for a trafficked person for labor. Inequality is a big issue for people who have been trafficked for labor. Discrimination is always practiced. You know, by seeing your physical condition, you will be allotted work and accordingly you will be treated. But when your body gives up, you know, when your body is not able to sustain that trauma, that physical trauma, mental trauma of so long years and then your body needs rest. Your body needs to be attended. Then nobody is there to take care of your body 
to give your body the rest which is required or medical help which is required. So a labor is a labor with no rights and when he is trafficked, the trafficker always thinks in terms of profit making, in terms of money and not in terms of, you know, his violation of human rights. Lack of awareness is also a big issue wherein, you know, it is very difficult for the person to understand that he will be able to come out of the clutches of the trafficker any day. So in cases of awareness, you know, in cases of labor trafficking, people are illiterate, uneducated, so they do not know what are the laws, what are their human rights, whether whatever sign they have done or whether the thumb impression which they have, you know, imposed is for a legal work or illegal work. Consent taken by fraud, deception, captivity is not a valid contract. But the trafficker will always show you a paper and tell you, see, here you had signed or here your parents have signed. So now if you break this contract, your parents are going to be in the jail or you are going to be in the jail. So out of fear, you face trauma and pain every day. Then the policies and programs which should have been implemented at the grassroots level to address the issue of vulnerability has never been done properly at the grassroots. So people are not aware, people are not educated about the policies and programs of the government. So no matter best policies the government takes before you for the people of India, but if the programs and policies do not reach for the people whom they are made, there is no point in having those policies and programs. So you know transparency, accountability, and reaching of the policies to the people for whom they have been made is very important in case of labor trafficking. Now we find we have so many dignity rights, we have fundamental duties, you know, wherein you have to talk about giving services for the nation in case your nation needs. But when you are not aware about your rights, roles and responsibilities and your duties enumerated under the Constitution of India and the preamble, then you do not have a mindset to work for the country. You have to just make profit. So the motto of your work is making profit. It does not matter whether somebody's rights have been violated or somebody's life is in question. Profit is your motto. So this also needs to be addressed because my rights can only be given if I follow my duties. If everybody only talks about rights and nobody talks about the duties, it is very difficult to get the rights in the real world. You know, we have to protect and safeguard the public property, but in cases of 
you know, atrocities, any calamity, or you know, man made disasters, sometimes the property of the government is burnt, is destroyed. And you people and the people affected in that area fall prey to the traffickers. So if you misuse your resources, if you create a situation of unrest, then the traffickers sitting there will be able to take the benefit of the vulnerabilities of the people and use that vulnerability for trafficking. It can be for labor, it can be for any other purpose also. Then you know, it is very important that when we talk about labor trafficking, the law should be implemented properly. The global standards of international labor organization should be strictly followed and implemented in all cases. The stakeholders should protect, the labor commissions should protect the interest of the laborers and the definition of labor should be, you know, extended. It should be incorporating different kinds of activities done even in the informal sectors. So labor laws needs to be amended. Last year we saw an amendment, but still we need so many people to be included in the definition of labor. So positivity and sensitivity is needed from the government. Proper coordination between different stakeholders is very important. Removing the vulnerabilities of the people is a big challenge for a welfare state, but should be the priority of the welfare state. Then you know, getting Aadhaar cards and job cards for everybody in the country having registration of everybody in the population register of the country is very important. Till you are counted, till the government knows about you, how will the government make plans and programs about you? And in cases of missing person, it is very important that report should be immediately filed. In FIR should be immediately filed in the police station. You should be always be very careful while using mobiles and social media platform because the trafficker can just take all your details sitting in any part of the globe. So never over trust a person. Positive role of NGOs is very important to address the issue of labor trafficking. Public-private partnership programs should be implemented at the grassroots level. And you know, one should never give up. If you give up, then the trafficker controls you and manipulates your situation to the best of his advantage. You should be humble, but be affirmative. We should have crisis response center across India, across the states, in every district. Strict implementation, you know, of laws are very important. The crisis number should work 24-7. The people should register for work and the work should be provided by a registered, you know, company. All the companies who provide work should be registered and monitored by the government of India. 
लेबर अथॉरिटी शुड मीडिएट कीपिंग इन व्यू द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल सो लेबर अथॉरिटी शुड मेक लॉज एंड सी वेदर द लॉज आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड प्रॉपरली इन द स्टेट्स द कमीशन कैन प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन एड्रेसिंग द इशूज ऑफ वनरेबिलिटी विच यू नो एफेक्ट्स अ पर्सन एंड द पर्सन इज ट्रैफिक्ड पॉजिटिव रोल ऑफ मीडिया पॉजिटिव अवेयरनेस कैंपेन्स एट स्कूल कॉलेज लेवल कैन बी अ चेक टू कट डाउन ट्रैफिकिंग फॉर लेबर respect and apathy for others is a need of the hour you cannot choose profession by compulsions profession should be by choice and sustainable development goals should be the primary concern skill development programs should be implemented at the village level so that people do not get you know lured by the traffickers in the name of employment generation local solutions should be there for the local issues and at macro and micro levels the policies to address trafficking for labor should be different inclusive growth opportunities should be given to all in the end i would just like to tell you all that we have to be aware about the labor laws we have to be aware about different rights and we should not be giving opportunity to people to make use of our vulnerability so if we know about our rights we are doing our duties properly the state is implementing the labor laws properly the definition of labor is inclusive then we will not have people you know purchasing and people selling human beings and any person who sells or purchases human beings is a trafficker and not a customer thank you all for the session stay safe and stay blessed